So Gary Kasparov won in impressive style. And Danny, he really played some brilliant chess in this match. He certainly did. I think my favorite game was the 10. First of all, he sacrificed a pawn, then a rook, just to get through to Anand's king. And he won a beautiful game. It was a power performance. Then the 14th game, that was critical. He knew that if Anand won, he'd be right back in the match. Kasparov had a lousy position, but he managed to turn it round in an amazing time scramble. And when he won that game, he knew the match was secure. So despite losing the match, it was still a half a million dollar payday for challenger Vishwanathan Anand. Just like to say thanks to Intel Corporation for sponsoring the event. And uh, there's a lot of zeros there. So that should, that should be nice. I hope uh, you all had a lot of fun uh, watching the event. Uh, especially today's nail-biting finish. <laughs> Later, Anand reflected on his first world championship match. You learn a lot about yourself. I mean, how you handle yourself in pressure and, uh, um, you know, how to deal with surprises and how to, um, you know, f but what, what it is basically is that um, you have somebody who's really focusing, ev you know, every ounce of energy in, in his body on you. In a tournament, this is not the case. It's, uh, you don't feel this intensity. Here, you know, I was only thinking what I'm going to do against him. Nobody else mattered, and same for him. The pity was basically around game 11, I panicked a little bit. And uh, in such a match, I think the only strength, you know, the only you know, real strength you have is your objectivity. You always be objective and very calm. And um, as you say, it was a very, very expensive point, and in Moon, just <clears throat> the immediate ramifications of being a point down uh, was simply that, um, well, it's somehow to find my play in the next few games as well, and it took me a while to get out of those things. To find my play in the next few games as well, and it took me a while to get out of those things. So his mistake in game 11, the critical turning point in the match, many experts also felt that Anand may have been overprepared for this match. Here's what he had to say on that subject. Quite rarely it happened in this match that I used some preparation that I had made at home already. Often I was forced to improvise at the board and fine. Even though my preparation had been very extensive, um, it's, it's still well <clears throat> clear that um, you cannot predict everything. The work must still be done at the board. And um, I mean, I can't specifically tell you I'm going to take this step or this step. You, you can't really predict things that way. But um, I don't know, you just feel a lot of moments better. And probably the next time I will do it better. <laughs>